obviously it started. Today we're doing the x-ray of the elbow. It's routine, is a three view x-ray. If there's trauma, you only do two. First we'll do the routine. You always want to mark on the lateral side. We have the left elbow that we're doing. First is the AP shot. Your central ray is in the joint. You want to adjust Enough your combination. Expose the patient, mid shaft of the humerus and mid shaft of the forearm. This is your AP view. The next view is the oblique, it's an external rotation. It's, we call it the sleeper view. You just tell the patient to roll over. The central ray is still in the same position, right in the joint. Your collimation is the same. Mid shaft of the humerus and mid shaft of the forearm. You still need to mark on the lateral side of the arm. view is the lateral view of the elbow. You need to have the elbow joint, the center of your central ray. You're going to have the patient put their thumb up. That way the ulna and the radius will be overlapping. You collimate down to the mid shaft of the humerus. Mark again on the lateral side. Make sure that you have mid shaft of the forearm and this is your lateral view. For trauma, we have two view positioning. If the patient can't bend their elbow, you need to try to get the head of the radius still. You have the patient stand, put the forearm down straight, try to get the central ray into the radial head as close as possible, collimate, put your marker on the lateral side, and your palm up, and that's the first AP view. For the second, to get the distal end of the humerus, have the patient sit back down. Your central ray. Mark, collimate down. That would be your second AP shot. An opposing view, if the patient can't roll or an oblique, you want to try to get the 90 degree angle lateral. Thumb up. central ray in the middle of the joint, mark on the lateral side, mid shaft of the forearm and mid shaft of the humerus. That would be your two view for trauma.